Not so. Hi, my name's Hayley and we're here at the Bulling Thorn in Buxton, Derbyshire. Hi guys, it's Matt from Stoke Haunted again. Uh, Tonight we're off to a place called the Bolin Thorn, which is in Buxton. It's a place that teams have been to various times. Um, I myself have only been there the once. Um, every other time the teams have now been able, been able to go, either due to work or other commitments. So it's going to be nice for me to go back there and quite refreshing to see what actually the, the venue presents. Um, it's not our exclusive event. Uh, we are there with other teams tonight. So it's going to be interesting to see what else happens, whether the energy is going to be raised with other people being there, trying different things time will tell. Um, what I do like about the Bowling Thorn is it does have a, a, what we consider a rich history. We can't find out much about it but apparently it dates back many many hundred years. Um, on my previous visit there was um, an element of interesting things to look out for. Number one um, was that the, the, the venue itself is decorated with a lot of what we call um, bric-a-brac for that gives the impression of history. There's a a chair that presents itself as if you sit in it, um, you'll, you'll reach an untimely demise, um, which I don't believe entirely, but it, it's interesting to, to look at the, um, the speculation around that. What we did have was um, a strange EMF trail that would, would move around the venue. You could easily track it with a, an EMF meter or a K2 meter, um, and it would generally um, embody um, a suit of armor at the end of the bar and then move away from there and then come back to it. And scientifically, we couldn't trace where the EMF was coming from. There wasn't any particular wiring giving off any um, EMF that was, that was what we consider measurable uh, in terms of what was being projected. And the other thing is um, around there, there's no switch boxes or anything else that's, that's producing any um, electromagnetic radiation. So it'll be interesting to see if I can replicate that tonight. Um, if we do obviously get that on camera. Um, the other thing was, um, it was very evident that there were, there were quite a few spirits there. Um, I mean, I, I'm always told about speculation about the the medieval room being very active, that it, it presents um, like some poltergeist activity stuff gets thrown. Last time I was there, I didn't experience that. Um, so I'm, I'm curious to see like if there is any truth in that. I, I, I know that there are people out there that don't lie, but the, the stuff that can be... Um, misconstrued creaks bangs building movement etc so um so there we go um, for those that don't know me I, I am a medium for the group but i do have a scientific mind and i know that's rare for um some mediums um but i try to get to the bottom of everything i don't dismiss everything as, as spiritual immediately um granted if, if i'm being told anything through mediumship i'll open my mouth and say but um a lot of the time. Being a trans medium, I don't get the heads up on a lot of what, what we consider mental mediumship. They tend to channel through me directly. Um, it's a bit daunting sometimes, but um, it does produce some interesting results. 
Um, so stay tuned for that. I might try that tonight. We'll see how it goes. But uh, here's to a good investigation. Um, whatever you're doing, guys, enjoy your evening and uh, enjoy the vid. Thank you very much. to allow the spirit to come forward and communicate with us. We don't mean any harm and we don't want any harm to come to any of those here. We ask this in the love and light. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Amen. Amen. That was lovely. Tearful, that is. Well, that's most of my battery as well. I've just had a complete five-hour battery go instantly flat. Oh, yeah, you I'm, I'm, I'm no. down to seven no. minutes from 90. Look. I'll go get me other battery. Just going to do a bit of calling out now, guys. Get some energy. Both your cameras done exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two cameras, identical cameras, have just completely drained for no reason. So any spirits in this room, in this building with us tonight, we invite you to come and join us. We come with the utmost respect. We mean no harm. None of our equipment will harm you. We ask that you do not harm us. There's two green lights on the floor. What we'd ask, we invite you into the circle and change the light from green to red, please. by making a noise. Please don't discharge me. <laughs> You've had plenty of energy off the batteries. There's plenty of energy in the rooms. Please use us. Yeah. Knock on something. Touch somebody. Knock a glass off. Let us hear your voice. Brilliant, thank you very much. I'm getting focusing issues as well now. Yeah, it's trying. Can you light up the other one? The one that's next to it. Okay, we didn't say so, it's all good, it's not saying. Try trying to do, tie one on a different axis, Matt, because we found that makes a difference. Yeah, I was, one on its side. I was twisting it just, just to see. They're both together now. Um, can go on aeroplane mode. Your phones will still pull if they're on aeroplane mode. No, put on aeroplane mode. 
Can you light the one up next to it, please? Little six fingered people. They come in, they feel it. I'll back off if you're scared of me, you can't bother me. Even if you just want to light up one of them, we don't mind. We're just trying to see what you're capable of. Come on, Sue, come in from the hall. We know you're not stopping long. So it's not you. <laughs> Next to me, there's a microphone. If you don't know what a microphone is, it's something that can record your voice. Look on the table, what right else? Alexandra, if that's you that's in the room, could you come towards the green lights, please? They won't hurt you. We just let people know that you're here. Can you whistle? Trying to get to me. I've gone out. I know, I've got so I know. Really. <clears throat> no, not. Thank you. Do you smell? Trying to yeah. find a choice of words. You feel like you've been interfered. And you. Yeah. Well, I like a smaller you'll do on. Yeah. Yeah, well, we know who he chose. And he knows me, that's the problem. It's because I've allowed him this place before. We've got Linux on my team, guys. Do you have a name for us, Lisa? Yeah, it's yeah. Marshall. Is it going up? Oh no,
know somebody else, please. You're not gonna touch me. God, such a wrong guy. Would you rip your off? Your eyes to speed. Not the scary. Sorry, guys. No, doesn't normally get me like that. Okay. Biatch. Sorry about that, guys. Nice Sorry about that flow show. I'm trying to apologise. That's sweet. That's the same. He's um he's with me at the minute. Be careful, Mark. I'm trying to just prod and like see what how I react. Don't let him too close. No, no, I'm not going to let him close at all. It's just that. Oh, so bad. I'm not a bad friend of this. I know. Am I? He has a hand. Are they in my kit pocket? Yeah. Nice to play with I'm not a bad friend of this. And that's my name. That is really getting my ears. Is this a blue one, aren't you? Shouldn't be. But it's really pissing me off. Probably is that for a start. Which one's your coat pocket? What does she want a coat for? Don't let her get in the car. No, no. What game is it half on? I don't know. You wanted a piece? Great. Do you want a piece? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. And you always had me. You always got to find the piece. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> Can I have this brew, please? I'm okay. Can I have this brew? Yeah. I'm alright, fine. Yeah, I thought it was interesting. So he's handed the keys over, the keys flashed on. It's a whole car. It's going to be one of them nights, is it? Drink, drink your brew. Are you watching Craig go to the car? Go to the car. Go Must be some sort. What's that there behind you? Bat. Where's she gone? Outside. Don't let her get in the car. I'm alright. Watch them glasses. Where are you, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. Stomach. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have that for him. Yeah, come on, I'm like, 
Taste in my mouth. Oh, I say, taste. Never. I don't. I'm too thingy. I'm dead. You're not coming at me like that. I can't. But him, he was just like, I'm going to bat. I don't like it. No. Because I think it's like, it's like a show almost, isn't it, when someone does that? No. Can you tell me what your name is? No. Can you tell me what your name is? Please. No. 